A new front is opening in the climate tech movement and it's buried deep within America's minds. The Carbon Removal Alliance seeks to merge carbon capture with one of the country's most politically sensitive industries, mining. The idea, they argue, is simple but transformative. Many mining byproducts, especially from magnesium-rich rocks, have a natural ability to absorb carbon dioxide. By crushing these rocks and enhancing their reactivity, mining companies can accelerate a process known as enhanced rock weathering. In effect, it turns waste rock into a carbon sponge, sucking greenhouse gases from the atmosphere while boosting mineral recovery. In a new memo now circulating among policymakers and Capitol Hill staffers, the Alliance calls for U.S. mining policy to formally integrate these techniques. That means prioritizing federal permits for projects that combine critical mineral extraction with CO2 removal and ensuring that public financing tools like the U.S. Development Finance Corporation support these dual purpose operations. And the revenue potential is no small matter. A preliminary analysis by the group estimates more than $100 billion in possible earnings from just a subset of suitable mineral types over the next 25 years. The American mining industry has struggled in recent decades, losing ground to competitors operating under laxer environmental regulations. Capital sees this as an opportunity for a renaissance. Companies abroad are already moving. In Canada and Australia, startups like Arca are piloting carbon removal enhanced mining with promising early results. Advocates believe the US could lead the way if the federal government gives the green light. Alan Robinson for Skillings.